Ever pondered why some days you feel sexually charged, while on others, romance is the last thing on your mind? It's a curious thing, isn't it? One day you're full of passion and the next, you're just not feeling it. Is it the weather, the phase of the moon, or perhaps something you ate? Or could it be something more fundamental, more ingrained in our biology? Something that ebbs and flows just like the tide. What if we told you it's all about the libido? Libido, commonly known as sexual desire, is not a constant, but a fluctuating energy. Now let's make this a little clearer. Imagine your libido as a river. Sometimes it's a torrent rushing with force, while at other times it's a quiet stream, barely making a ripple. This ebb and flow of desire is a perfectly normal part of our human experience, varying significantly among individuals and even within the same person over time. Just as the seasons can change the flow of a river, several factors can influence the intensity of our libido. High stress levels, for instance, can dam up the river of desire, making it more like a trickling brook. On the other hand, a healthy, balanced lifestyle can lead to a steady, flowing river, symbolizing a healthy libido. Health conditions, too, can play a significant role in shaping our libido. Chronic illnesses, mental health issues, or even certain medications can cause our river of desire to run dry. But don't worry, it's not always a permanent state. Just like a river rejuvenates after a dry spell, our libido, too, can bounce back with the right care and attention. And let's not forget, our libido isn't just influenced by physical factors. Emotional and psychological aspects, such as our mood, relationship dynamics, and even our self-esteem, can significantly sway the flow of our sexual desire. So, it's perfectly normal if your sexual drive ebbs and flows. After all, we are human, not machines. Just like the stock market, our libido has its peaks and valleys. Imagine your libido as a roller coaster ride, thrilling, unpredictable, and full of highs and lows. It's a natural aspect of our lives, and just like the stock market, it can fluctuate wildly. Some days, it's up there soaring like an eagle, while on others, it's more like a hibernating bear. Much like the seasons, our sexual desire also has its own rhythm. It can bloom like a flower in spring, bask in the summer sun, mellow down in the autumn breeze, or lie dormant during winter. It's a natural cycle, and there's no need for alarm when the seasons change. The peaks of your libido can be exciting, full of energy and desire. These are the times when your sexual drive is at its highest, and it's like the world is full of possibilities. It's like standing on top of a hill on a clear day, with the view stretching out for miles. On the flip side, the valleys can feel like a quiet, calm river. It's a time for introspection, for understanding your desires and needs. These periods of low libido can often offer an opportunity for self-discovery and personal growth. It's like the quiet before the dawn, the calm before the storm. Libido, just like life, is not a flat line. It's not static, but dynamic, changing, and evolving. It's a journey, not a destination. So don't worry if you find yourself on a roller coaster ride. Embrace the peaks and valleys, the ups and downs, because they are all part of the human experience. Remember, it's completely normal to have ups and downs in your sexual desires. So, what have we learned today? We've unraveled the concept of libido, exploring how it varies significantly among individuals. We've journeyed through the peaks and valleys of sexual desire, understanding that it's entirely normal for it to ebb and flow. Various factors can influence our libido, from physical health and stress levels to emotional well-being and relationship dynamics. Understanding your libido is a key step towards embracing your sexuality. So, next time you experience a dip or a surge in your sexual desire, remember, it's all part of being human.